Yo what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how to use data transfer modifier and I'm gonna combine these two objects horn and the Zuzen seamlessly by data transfer so first of all we need to make the anchor fast in the bottom of the horn I'm gonna use this fast to swing web to the Zuzen head so extrude some face outward the origin after that make bevel simply press ctrl b and drag outside the origin okay the next one we need to make the vertex group add and name it by string verb any name you can uh, add for this vertex group but i prefer using string verb and then for the other vertices uh, assign one for the weight and then for the next is 0.8 assign the next one is 0.6 and then 0.4 and for the last one is 0.2 to check the wake pen at the wake already apply correctly we can check in the wake pen and see the gradient color from red to blue so if it is look like that so it it have to be correct then i need to put this horn above the head move by grab it and put around the head and then we need to activate the face snap so snap to face moving it uh, close to the head and it will be snapped automatically the next step is I want to add string wrap modifier from the horn to the Suzanne yeah and I'm gonna use vertex group string wrap so not all vertex is shrink to the head only the vertex that i already add weight parameter at before uh, step yeah it already swing wrap uh, correctly into the head the next one is i need to add data transfer choose string wrap for the vertex and I mean choose Susan for the source and then check the first curve data first corner data and choose Sing web for the vertex group. We have some error in here, and to uh, repair it, we go to normal and auto smooth. But we have some face that misdirection with other face, so we need to recalculate the normal. Go to uh, edit mode Oops. Select all vertices and press C plus N Yeah, it already correctly 
negative action okay we cannot see the difference in the solid view mode so we need to go to material view or to or we need to check it in the render view oops i forget to uh, visible the light basically i already add some light in here so we can see the difference from the solid mode and the render view these two objects are already combined correctly without seam so seamlessly combine and I'm gonna show you the difference if we not use data transfer okay I'm only wanna use string web only just the target is Suzanne and using Vertex Group Sync Web. Yeah, we see there is a disconnection between the horn face and the Suzanne face, and it's more naturally combined if we using data transfer modifier. So we cannot see any seam between these two objects. So. That's all for today tutorial, thank you for watching, bye bye.